Meteorologist Allison Pryor is in the Storm Alert Weather Center with predictions of what will happen when the rising humidity meets up with the clouds. Scattered thunderstorms are in the forecast. Good afternoon, good muggy summer afternoon. We certainly have a big difference between the humidity for today compared to what we had yesterday and especially the day before on Tuesday. And with that, that means we have this bigger difference between the true air temperature and the heat index this afternoon. So partly sunny skies this afternoon, wind from the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and pretty seasonable high temperatures from about 85 to 91 degrees across the area. I think in the scenic city, we're looking at 88 at 1 o'clock, 90 at 3 p.m. still can be set at 5 o'clock. 87 degrees at 7 p.m. But let me draw your eye up to those orange numbers. Those are the heat index values. This is where we're getting those sweltering conditions with the peak heating of the day this afternoon. It'll feel like 98 at 1 o'clock, 101 at 3 p.m., 101 at 5 o'clock, 96 degrees at 7 p.m. Even at 9 o'clock tonight, still feeling like 89 degrees. Now, you can get a little bit of relief from the heat in the form of some widely scattered, scattered showers and storms, uh, generally this afternoon into the evening time and then kind of quieting down as we head into into tonight. So let's look at that. Here's futurecast at 3 p.m. You can see those individual bubbles on here. Those are going to be the heavy downpours with the summertime storms. Of course, the lightning threat and even a low end risk that we can see an isolated severe storm today. Now, overall chances for storms is about 30%. So some of the areas certainly you're going to stay dry, but if you get hit with one, you can get that heavy summertime rainfall. That's going to continue into this evening and then kind of dwindle and quiet down during the overnight hours. As we look ahead to Friday morning, especially late morning into midday, Another wave of showers and storms pushes across our area and that scattered activity will continue into the afternoon and evening and then once again kind of calm down during the overnight hours on Saturday. More of the same isolated activity in the morning time and then Saturday afternoon. We're going to have to be mindful of the addition of scattered showers and storms. In fact, I think Saturday is going to be the greatest potential day. Now this particular model ends at 2 p.m. on Saturday, but I want to go ahead and draw your eye to Middle Tennessee. You can see that storm band developing. That's what we want watching as the day progresses later on Saturday. Today, tomorrow, Saturday, anything in between though, you're going to have a nice mix of sun and clouds and the sweltering hot summertime conditions with the humidity too. Futurecast rainfall focusing on just today. You can certainly see how it's almost a boom or bust situation here due to the hit or miss activity. So a lot of the area, if you get rainfall, it'll just be a trace to about a quarter of an inch, but we could end up with a couple of pockets with higher totals. If repeated storms go over the same area, um, that could lead to some localized flooding. So when we talk about our severe threat scale for today, it's low end, but can't completely rule out the potential for an isolated strong to severe storm with some damaging wind gusts and large hail and also leading to that localized flooding. For a lot of you, though, you get to enjoy the summer afternoon with the partly sunny sky. Those high temperatures from about 85 to 91, 91 for Chattanooga, Dalton, Scottsboro, 90 in Dayton and Cleveland. And again, that heat index maxing out from about 99 to 102 this afternoon. Tonight's going to be another muggy night with partly cloudy skies, a lot of communities, those low temperatures in the 70s. And then for tomorrow, pretty similar high temperatures from about 85 to 91. The scatter storms, the partly sunny skies once again. In fact, we're going to kind of repeat that on the weekend too. So 90 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, more sunshine, but still a chance for an isolated storm with a high of 91 at that point. Today through Sunday, pretty similar. Monday and Tuesday of next week, though, only a 10%. Notice by Wednesday, it's even hotter with a high of 95 degrees. All righty, thank you, Allison.